Afternoon everyone. Um, I thought I'd do this video to add to the collection. Um, I have to say it's quite upsetting and distressing looking at how a lot of people are suffering in the current situation that we find ourselves in. Um, a little bit about me. Uh, my name's Paul and uh, I operate my own business from home and in a sense, in, uh, in that way, things haven't really changed too much. Um, and in fact, because I think, you know, people are looking for something different um, in the way that they're working, um, business has actually uh, thrived during this uh, particular crisis. But there's been so many things which they are completely distressing um, and I agree with everyone with the things that I've heard people say on these videos and also in various groups that there's just so much going on at the moment and trying to get to the truth of everything is the most difficult thing that I've found. Uh, so here in uh, North Kent where I live uh, I mean, the current situation is that, uh, you know, like in other places, we've got certain shops which will allow you in without a mask and others that insist that you wear one. Uh, I, I really don't understand the government's uh, policy around all of this. It certainly smacks of... Uh, an agenda underneath what we're being told. I certainly don't believe anything that I read or hear in the mainstream media or in the mainstream social media. I think so much of it is being manipulated. I think we get like a sense of it, even if we can't fully grasp the the truth. It's like we, we just get a sense that this is not right. All of these things that are going on at the moment. Um, when all of this started, I thought, do you know what? You know, I'm 65 now and uh, I've lived a good life. And obviously I still want to carry on living a good life. And then I look at my children, I look at my grandchildren and I think, what kind of world are they inheriting from the rest of us? And that really upsets me. And when this, I can't call it a pandemic because I don't get the figures. I don't fully see that we can be calling this a, a pandemic when you look at the actual figures. Um, but this current situation that we find ourselves in, when it first started, I wanted to know the truth. And I went down so many rabbit holes to, you know, go back to the original sources, things that I was being told. And I think, no, that can't be right. But when you start to delve into these things, you realise that they actually are. And it's, it's just tragic what is happening. And the worst thing of it, I'm an ex-primary school teacher. And the worst thing that I have seen is the, uh, the acquiescence, the complacency and the lack of questioning, not just on social media, but in the, in the general public, but also within my own family and my group of friends. It's, it's just like, you know, do you not question anything? Are you just going to accept whatever the government tell you? I mean, I know that there's this kind of, this, this phrase about, you know, sheeples, but you can't help but think of that, that phraseology because it's like lambs to the slaughter, you know, and that is so, so worrying. And I'm just hoping that there are enough of us that are questioning these things that, that will tip the balance in the direction of good. And I am, I have to say, I am hopeful that things will change for the better. 
I certainly don't believe that we're going to go back to, as some people say, normal. I think that normal has completely disappeared because of the corruption and what is going on with the agenda underneath what we're being told. And that is a lot more scary to me than any virus that uh, that's going to come out and uh, uh, apparently infect the, the planet. So that's pretty much my take on it. Um, it's unbelievable in a sense that we're all making these videos or having to make them to try and get these points across. Um, but we've got to. You know, we've got to we've got to join together and and hopefully, as I said, there's enough of us that it's going to make that difference. Anyway, I hope that all of you will at least try and stay positive, even though I know that that is a very difficult thing to do under the current circumstances. And, you know, if people want to reach out, then, you know, please do. Um, I'll be putting this video on um, onto my YouTube channel. You know, <laughs> we'll see how long it stays there. We know what's happening with that as well. Anyway, for now, take care. See ya.